edition of Lifestyle Exposé, the Nigerian creative industry, also known as the entertainment industry, comes to the fore as notable Nigerian celebrity Alibaba speaks on the issues concerning this sector. The bottom line of the capital market is funding. And uh, the biggest problem the entertainment industry has is funding. And if it is about getting funds, you discover that a lot of the creative industry will tell you that the problems they have right now is that they don't get enough funds to pursue their dreams or actualize the ideas that they have. And if they can't actualize the ideas that they have and you've tracked it down to funding, then the best place to get money is the capital market. Not just get money in the capital market, long-term loans. Because the thing is that whatever you get from the capital market is for you to develop a business. So the creative industry needs to begin to come to the capital market to ask for funding. Because this is where you get it cheap, this is where you get it for longer, and this is where you get less control of your business. Unlike when you go to a bank and they'll be calling you every day to ask you how is this one going, you need to submit this, you need to... Unlike the, the capital market, you get the work money, use it for the business that you want to do, and you achieve the greatness. Now, the bottom line of getting money from the capital market is to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. What is limiting a lot of entertainers from uh, sourcing money from the capital market is that they don't want to go to the rigors of formality. No, no. A lot of the people in the capital market expect you to, <laughs> to give them money. A lot of entertainers used to give them money and and let them just go and do whatever they want to do. But the thing is, no, no. I'm, I'm thinking of getting listed because I have ideas that I want to actualize. And this is the place to be. If, if you notice, we should actually be about like 40 to 30, between 30 to 40 percent wow. of our GDP in Nigeria, considering how much money we make in this industry. But one thing that is holding us back is piracy. And unless we make an effort to tell the government that this is why we're not progressing, we remain where we are. There's a lot of money to be making in the entertainment industry. Record companies are all out. EMI, Polygram, uh, Aphrodis, all of them. They've left Sony Music, Connor all of them have left. But the thing is, once this in industry begins to be vibrant again, and w w w uh, the stock, the stock uh, Chatters Institute of Stockbrokers had an event one time, a seminar, and they invited us to come and speak about how we want them to invest in our businesses. So those are the kind of engagements that we want right now, so that we can begin to grow our financial capacity and uh, make the best out of our creativity. The thing is, if you, if you give, if you build the infrastructures, the products that will come out of the, those infrastructures, those facilities that you build, would be pirated. If I, what we're doing is we're putting the cart before, we're putting the uh, cart before the horse. Anything you do right now will be pirated. Unless you begin to deal with it first, it will be pirated. If you, if you like, put a movie of $20 million in the market, all a pirate needs to do is get a copy, one copy. He's not invested money like $20 million. He will invest $20 million, uh, $2 million to dub those uh, distance. And he'll be making more money than you that invested the $20 million. Meanwhile, you have... Uh, uh, interest to pay on your money. The guy doesn't have interest to pay because he's waited for the finished product. The problem we have, that is it. So it's not about building facilities. It's not about building games village, um, movie village, uh, film village, or developing the national theater, or building more theaters, uh, cinema houses. No. Once they get a copy, it's finished. And what we need to do is have a structure. I mentioned this when the president spoke to us entertainment industry in 2012 I said it is not about the money you give to us you can give us 20 billion dollars we all assess the funds but the product we bring out is what we sell Sonia Day has gold disc Ebenezer Obey has gold disc all of them have diamond disc of their records that were sold we can't have that now so the financial uh, aspect dynamics of entertainment is that whatever we need to get whatever money we need to get from the capital market from anybody whether it's government funding whether it's uh, foreign divestment whatever we have to get once we get those monies as we're working on one hand they need to begin to begin to help us protect and fight piracy otherwise the money is wasted first we're looking at uh, royalties 
from uh, because uh, once you have digital companies, then um, once you have digital broadcasts, then a lot more of our content will be used. We need to have royalties because there are people who even depend on royalties after 20, 30 years after they've retired from entertainment. They still make money. By the way, the money we make is not for us to spend. A lot of us invest in the capital market. You hear of the Dangote shares you buy. You hear of uh, capital, uh, capital oil and all those places. Once they get quoted a separat, they are on the stock exchange, you buy. So what it means is that you're even still buying something for the future of your children. So we need, we need a lot of, um, we need a lot of policies that would help us m manage, first of all, how we relate with one another, how we do business, because we're still a, a largely informal sector, which is a problem banks have. Because you're an informal sector, it's hard for them to give you money. So a lot of policies need to be stepped down to allow us come in to play. Because right now, as it is, it's just, it's like it's, the policies are all made for the established uh, formal sector. So the informal sector needs to be uh, kind of maybe like bribed into the, the sector by reducing some of the policies or making special laws that will welcome us into the fold. That way the government can also know how much money we're making. Because like, like Mr. President said, I think Mr. President said that now because there was an event that I was supposed to do and Mr. President said that I was asking for quite a lot of money and he said, do you guys charge that much? And I said, yes. They don't know. For, for so many years, people did not know that I was making so much money in comedy. Do you think all these boys that are running into the distance is because it's free for all? How many of them are going into Nigerian Railway? They're not going into Nigerian Railway because this is where the money is. Look at the lifestyle of entertainers, from Whiskey to Two-Face to P-Square. You, you know that they're living well. And a lot more people can do that if it's all tidied up. And that's all we want. So the policies should be geared towards making sure that we get our return on investment. Because ROI for us is you put out a product in the market and you get your money back. If somebody now tries to take it and go and pirate it, you cannot, based on that policy and the bills and the laws that are passed by the National Assembly and the, and the National Assembly, then the government can enforce it to give us money. Because there's no reason why, okay, a good example is AY. He has his, he spent money to produce his movie. The movie is selling, oh, he's in, he's in cinema, so we can actually track how much money you're making in the cinemas. But what is the problem now? Pirates have taken one tape of it, and maybe they got it from a cinema or somehow, and they are selling it. And they're selling it on the street. If they're selling it on the street and you can't collect the money, you can't arrest those people that are selling it on the street. You can't arrest a wife for not paying tax. Because he can tell you, go collect the money those ones have sold. Because that could be your tax. What we're saying is, if you, if you deal with those things, an entertainer has no reason to say he won't pay tax. Because he will see that you're actually making policies that are working for him. First thing is that we're Nigerians. When you say entertainers are taking part in politics, it's like saying, if I'm a medical doctor, I should not become a politician. It's like saying, if I'm a, a pilot, I shouldn't become a politician. If I'm a banker, I shouldn't be a... There are a lot of people who are lawyers have become politicians. Now, why should an entertainer be taken out of being involved in politics? The only reason is that he's there to serve. And if it is to provide service, then he's allowed to be part of it. That said... It is not about whether you are an entertainer. Being an entertainer is a profession. Being a military man is a profession. Being an accountant is a profession that you've taken on. So when you decide to branch into politics, you're leaving a particular profession and going into another one. There's nothing that says an entertainer cannot leave his own uh, profession and go to another one. By the way, some of these entertainers are more educated than some people that we have in the, in the present government. The more enter the, the entertainers that have uh, PhD, the entertainers that have a master's degrees, and a lot of them are lawyers. RMD is a lawyer. Teju Babyface has a degree in insurance. Okay, Bakasi is an engineer. The theatre graduates are people who own master's degrees. So the thing is, what people do not see is that the glamour, 
has blinded them to the fact that we actually have value propositions that we can put on the table.